My name is Franco Berruti, I'm a professor in chemical and biochemical engineering and I'm also the director of the Institute for Chemical and Fuels from Alternative Resources. When you produce a crop with a specific purpose, you always have waste. You produce wheat, you generate straw. You produce grapes and you generate grape skins and grape seeds. Whatever is left over can be transformed into these crude oils that we call bio-oils, which are essentially the building blocks of many, many chemicals and fuels. Nature has used biomass to make petroleum over millions of years, deep in the ground, under pressure and under high temperatures. We make a similar product that has the same potential. We do it on the surface in a few seconds. From the bio-oils that we produce from these residues, we can produce fuels, ethanol type, diesel type, or we can produce uh, chemicals that range from pesticides to fertilizers to, in fact, building blocks of uh, plastic materials. People should really look at this as an alternative to what oil wells produce from the ground. The innovation of our technology is that we have been able to compact it over a trailer and to move it to the location where the material is available and when it is available so that we can process the material on site, produce the good products, leave behind to the farmer some of the byproducts that we produce that may be useful in the farm and we take away the oil to a central processing facility. The new program in Green Process Engineering is, is quite unique. First of all, it is the first program of this kind in North America. Secondly, it is uh, really the result of all the expertise that we have at Western. What we have at Western is a great team of people that from different backgrounds have been able to work together and create the critical mass, which has then been able to convince uh, governments and, and, and potential sponsors that uh, there is really lots of value in what we do. The most exciting things about research and development is working with students, working with people very enthusiastic in the lab that feel that they are making a difference, that they are making an impact. 